The Road Dodgers Ooh. getting the win, and uh, Manny Machado's debut two for two, two walks looking good. We know how the Dodgers have been playing some good baseball, first in the NL West, but what does this move for Machado do for this Dodgers team overall in the National League? Yeah, I, I definitely, I think it definitely puts him at the forefront of the National League. Definitely puts him as the best team. Mm. Either them or the Chicago Cubs. I'm telling you, man, Magic Johnson's on e fire. Either today. them or the Chicago, which team is the best team in the NL? I, I, I say at one, two, okay, one. Dodgers, then Dodgers. Cubs, okay. right? And okay. then the Phillies, Okay. right? Okay. So I, I just think for, you're bringing over a bona fide superstar, man. Mm -hmm. This kid's a young kid, but he's going to play each and every day. And the the one thing that I love most about that press conference was listening to him say, I'm down for whatever. Because we heard, just like everybody else did, said, I only mm -hmm. want to play shortstop. Mm -hmm. So a lot of teams might have been pushed away from that. Los Angeles Dodgers said, no way, man. If this guy comes over, he wants to win, we want to win. It gives them versatility. I think that's one of the great things the Dodgers have going for them. And Doc Roberts, Muncie can move all over the place. Mm -hmm. Bellinger can mm -hmm. move all over the place. Taylor can move all over the place. Now you got a guy like Manny Machado playing short and third. Turner's been down. Hey, Chris Taylor, same yep. thing. Seager's been hurt all year. I'm telling you, man, in my opinion, this definitely puts that team at the front of the National League. Best team in the division, no doubt. He, he's saying all the right things. And as you mentioned, he'll play both uh, shortstop and third base. He's making an adjustment coming from Baltimore, coming to a big city like L.A., right? which is an adjustment. But of course. what other adjustments does he have to make especially moving from another league, from the American League to the National League. Yeah, well, the, the one guy that I can kind of compare the situation to would be Giancarlo Stanton. I mean, obviously, being in Miami and Baltimore, kind of similar markets in the same sense. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. Miami's a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, you're coming to the big, bright lights. All right. of a sudden, you've got L.A., you've got New York. It, it took Giancarlo a little bit of time to get his, you know, get his feet wet and get into that rhythm. But, man, he ain't got that much time, man. He's there for two months, and then all of a sudden, the playoffs begin. So... I think the one thing it could affect is he's switching divisions, too. Mm -hmm. He's been in the American League his whole career. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like he can hit everybody, but still, some of these National League pitchers that he hasn't seen before may give him a little bit of trouble. Uh, he's a baller, but now comes the expectations, but I believe he'll, he'll, he'll get above to it. He's pretty good. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. <laughs>